How would you like to be able to use an Android smartphone with unlimited data, unlimited voice, and unlimited text, and no contract for just $19 a month? Stay tuned, and I'll tell you how. Hi, this is Walt Mossberg from the Wall Street Journal, and this week I've been testing just such a thing. It's a, an Android smartphone from an upstart carrier called Republic Wireless, which is uh, using Wi-Fi to bring down the costs of, uh, of voice calling and texting in particular. Um, the company uh, has what it considers to be the first Wi-Fi centric uh, cell phone service and the first hybrid cell phone. Uh, it's a Motorola phone called the Defy XT and uh, it's designed, engineered, so that um, the dialer function on the phone and the texting function on the phone default to using Wi-Fi instead of the more expensive cell phone networks. The phone is capable of making regular cell phone network calls when you're not in Wi-Fi range or when Wi-Fi isn't um, high quality enough for making a voice call. It uses the Sprint network. The company buys capacity on the Sprint network, but that's meant to be a backup. Uh, it doesn't cost you anymore. It doesn't add to your $19 a month uh, 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 charge if you decide to use it, and you can manually decide to use it as well. But this is primarily the idea here is this phone is built and the service is built to, uh, to support uh, Wi-Fi calling. Um, in my tests, uh, I found a few downsides that help to explain how they can afford to do this $19 uh, uh, approach. Um, first of all, the phone. The phone costs $249 and it's a mediocre phone with old technology in it. Yes, it's an Android phone, but it's running a two-year-old version of Android, which is kind of clunky. It has low screen resolution. When you are on Sprint, you are only on slow 3G, not fast 4G. Uh, so um, this is hardly the greatest phone in the world. Uh, and 249 is a lot to pay for a phone like that. Uh, they do have two uh, solutions for that, uh, or answers to that. One is that starting today, right now, they are offering an alternative and an another option where you only pay $99 for the phone. Uh, but the downside of that is the monthly fee goes from 19 to 29. 29 is still a bargain, but it's 10 bucks more than their uh, $19 plan. The other answer they have is that later this summer, uh, they'll be bringing out three new phones engineered the same way to be Wi-Fi centric that they say all of them will be uh, running current versions of Android. They'll be much better phones and they will run, some of them at least, will run 4G. Um, so the phone is a downside. Another downside is handing off between Wi-Fi and cellular. If let's say, and this happened to me, uh, you, make a, you start making a phone call in a coffee shop with Wi-Fi and then you walk out of the coffee shop, the, the call will drop as you leave the Wi-Fi range. And um, instead of a seamless handover where, where you can keep talking and it just switches right over to the Sprint network, what happens is it hangs up and it redials the same number. It's annoying, it interrupts your call, it's not the greatest experience. A third problem is voice quality. Um, I found the calls adequate. I, I would not even be uh, suggesting that anyone buy this if I didn't think the calls were adequate. And by adequate I meant uh, I could understand what the other person was saying, the other person could understand what I was saying. Having said that, there, there were um, uh, cases where there, were echoing, there was echoing around the call, where uh, words were clipped, and I think um, in almost every case when I switched to cellular uh, on the very same phone, the calls were better. Uh, so the calls are only adequate and you're going to have to adjust to that. Uh, 
again, you do have the option, if you don't like the quality of the call, to hang up yourself and redial on cellular. There's even a little button for that called the escape hatch button. Um, uh, and, and lastly is, is customer service. This company does not have a call center. It does not have an 800 number. It basically performs customer service by you going online to forums where other users who are um, avid users of the system will help you uh, with your problems. They will uh, uh, take on your problem directly with a very small staff through these forums, but that's not the typical case. So you're gonna have to accept that. But for a lot of people on a budget and people who don't have any smartphone right now, um, I think that if you can overlook those things, uh, this is potentially a very attractive thing. You get a smartphone, an Android smartphone, and you only have to pay $19 a month. This is Walt Mossberg, and I'll see you next week.